This is Moto 1. This is Moto H. I'll, I'll take a look. Five G S. Let's unbox it. It got ultra wide camera, it got fingerprint sensor, I'll also in a while. Not really slim or sleek, heavy. So, yeah, the good thing about this guy is uh, he got ultra wide camera. As you can see, it's a 48 megapixel camera. Hello, and uh, it has a flash. So, these are not four cameras, there's three cameras and it's a flash in here. Not a bad design, right? It's a silver. I'm not sure if you can see the texture and contour. Um, cheap plastic. It doesn't look rich, but uh, it's a budget phone, so for $300, um, the features is all it matters. This is the fingerprint sensor. Um, yeah, let's start. Connect to the mobile network. Yeah, let's try that. I'm not going to connect to the mobile network yet. Um, maybe I should. One second. Okay, so let's put the SIM card in. And it's uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi, so let's connect to the Wi-Fi. We have connected to the Wi-Fi, as you can see. Um, the charging is the halfway bar. So the phone was not properly charged, or maybe it's in stock for a little while. So, yeah. But um, yeah, let's see. It's asking to copy apps, and let's do that. Open the Google app on the old device. Let's do that. So it's now restoring all the information from my old phone. So. Google services accept. So set up the screen lock and re enter it. User fingerprint to unlock. So locate the sensor on the back of the phone. You have to touch and lift. You need to lift only after you feel the vibration on the finger. It's been a while I kept my finger and don't feel a vibration. Let me see. Okay, it's 
taking forever. Just make sure you keep moving your finger at the back and you can add multiple fingers. I'm using my pointing finger on both hands, left and right. You, you keep pressing the finger sensor with your tip of the finger. That's all you need to do. Um, just try the middle finger. Set up a few more things or find them later and say add another email account and also you can do everything. You can also use gesture navigations. Or you can use the three-way button at the bottom. I choose three-way button because I'm used to use the three-way button. You can set it up your WhatsApp and all the features. Mail. You see all your apps are waiting to be transferred. So give it some time for all your apps to be transferred. As you can see the apps are being transferred here. You can see the status. You can also see the latest tips and all. Let's see the camera here. You can control the flash here. You can use the capture settings. Drive. Modes. So here are the modes. Hmm. Camera. Let's take the colors. Let's see how the colors looks like. Um, I'm really impressed. Better than my old uh, Motorola stylus. Right now your this video is recorded on Motorola stylus, Moto G stylus. Uh, this picture is better than my old phone. Let's see the video. Um, one good thing about the Motorola phones is they come up with the landscape. I am really not sure if this guy has a landscape. Uh, let's see if it's a landscape. Um, I want to go in the cinematograph more. Um, let's see if it has a landscape mode. Because I, I love the landscape mode, it's very easy for vlogging. I need to look up if this camera comes with the landscape mode or not. Um, ultra wide. There you go. There you go. So it has an ultra wide mode. I love the ultra wide mode. You can see the images are like a fisheye effect on the corners. You see that? Like the ultra wide. Let's try the regular mode, standard. Let's see how it records. Oh, this is a view. This is not a photo. Oh, this is not a video. This is a photo. So video. I'm not sure if I have to always be like this for the landscape. I really miss the vlogging camera it comes with the Motorola 5G so for this guy it looks like I need to yeah it doesn't have them vlogging camera it's, I don't know I need to ask Motorola I will so I'll ask the customer support so again guys that's all I have simple budget phone yeah the good thing about this phone is um, let me show you why this phone is uh, was my first choice um, among the there are many budget phones let me take you to the settings i will show you in a second um, so if i go to the settings and i'm searching the settings nfs oh i think 
NFT. Yeah, NFT. Yeah, my bad. So you have NFT. Um, what does the NFT does is you can use it for um, touchless payment, contactless payment. You can use your Android. So NFC is what I'm looking at. Um, I need NFC because my old phone doesn't have NFC. So this is a $300 phone that comes with NFC, probably the cheapest of all the options you have in the market. Yeah. Gesture navigation, you can see. Let's try the gesture navigation. It's not working. Maybe I need to set up the gesture navigation. You know, gesture navigation is kind of cool. You don't have to make your screen dirty with your fingers if they are not tidy. So, gesture navigation is something uh, not bad, right? Yeah, that's all I got. $300 phone with the NFS payment. You can use Android Pay and also it comes with the Wi-Fi calling if I'm not wrong. Let's see if it has a Wi-Fi calling. Mm, Wi-Fi calling. I don't know. Yeah. That's all guys. That's all I got. Thank you all.